is Brody with Bay Design Works, and today we're going to have a quick teardown video of our Tesla Model 3. This will be a quick little sparse video going over some of the interesting notes and things that we discovered on our little teardown. Now here at Bay Design Works, we specialize in high-end audio kits for the Model 3, the S, and the X. So of course we're going to take a look at some of the audio components found in the Tesla Model 3 as well. Now like all pre-orders Model 3s, this one has the upgraded high fidelity system. So it won't be later until we get a look at what's under the hood of the non-upgrade audio system. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. Starting at the front of the car, we're going to start by removing these panels. The first panel, you reach underneath and you can gently lift all the way around, removing the plastic clips. And it comes off like this. This air duct manifold then pops up. These clips you can push in, revealing two 10 millimeter bolts two more 10 millimeter bolts underneath the carpet. Underneath this panel, you'll have another two 10 millimeter bolts that'll need to be removed. After all six 10 millimeter bolts are removed, you can go around this entire piece and unclip it, and it'll be removed in one full assembly. Now with the plastic panels removed, we get a nice look at what's underneath starting with the upper air duct assembly, which is in a very similar location to that of the Model S and the Model X. Moving over, we've got our 12 volt battery, which is in a much easier location to reach. It was available for access after just the first panel removed. Moving down, we have our active grille shutter assembly, and now we have all our steering components down below that. Another thing we notice is this large empty cavity underneath all these components. We believe this is where they're gonna put the front wheel drive motor. It's good access and it's a very similar location again to the Model S and the Model X. Now we're gonna talk about removing the front and rear doors of the Tesla Model 3, starting with the front driver's side door. First thing you're gonna do is get your pry bar underneath and remove this red reflector, revealing a Torx 30 screw. Moving to the front of the door, you've got a cap underneath that you can just peel out, again, revealing a Torx 30 bolt. And you have one more open Torx 30 bolt underneath this armrest to remove. Once you have those three Torx 30 bolts removed, you're going to take your pry bar and work your way all the way around the door, making sure all your clips are pulled out and the whole door will be released. Make sure you undo all your wires and you keep track of what wire goes to where in the door. Once you have all the wires removed and the cable lock for the door removed, you can remove the entire door and set it aside. Here we have the door panel removed, and a few things of note. First is your tweeter, held down by two clips. You can just pull up and remove. Second is your eight inch driver. You've got four eight millimeter bolts that you unscrew, and there's four clips as well that need to be pried back as you release the speaker from the door. In a later part of the video, we'll go ahead and talk about the audio and materials of the car. The rear door is very similar to the front door. You've got your first Torx slurry location underneath that plastic cap and your second Torx 30 location right under here. Those are the only two on this. There's no reflector in the back to remove. Once those two are removed, you can go ahead and go around the door, unclipping the car clips, and the whole panel comes off. This is what the rear door looks like once the panel is removed. As you notice, there's a lot less wires. The whole door itself is a lot smaller. So let's go take a look at the rear door now. Here's the rear door panel set aside. An interesting note about that is the rear door speaker is actually integrated into the panel itself. If you look closely, you can see that this is sonically welded to the actual structure of the door. That's going to make upgrading hard, and we'll keep you posted on whether or not this is going to be included in any of our new kits. If you need to remove the back seat of your Tesla Model 3 in order to get to the carpet or any of the wirings, it's fairly simple. You have these tabs you pull to the side, lifting up at the same time while rocking the whole back seat forward, and then it'll just lift up. Here we are in the back of the Tesla Model 3. We have all the carpet removed that we'll go through in a later video. But the sub's interesting point back here, again sticking with the theme of 8-inch subwoofers through the Model S and the Model X. It's a unique enclosure held on by four Torx 30 bolts, as well as having the amp bolted to the front of it, with this post acting as a grounding post to the chassis of the car. Now we're in the rear of the Tesla Model 3, right underneath me, is the motor. To my right in this orange is the high voltage cables coming from the charging port moving towards the batteries. To my left is the sub reinstalled. It's a rear facing port and a rear facing sub as well as the amp mounted in front of it. And in front of me is the bottom part of the trunk. 
There's also a one piece of carpet for the left and one piece of carpet for the right side of the car, as well as one long piece of carpet that extends from the rear seats to the rear of the car. Now let's take a second and talk about the audio and speakers inside the Tesla Model 3. In ours, like a lot of the pre-order edition cars, you had to choose the upgraded interior, which came with the upgraded audio. So starting at the front doors, we have our 8-inch, 80-watt, 4-ohm midwoofers. Mounted above those, we've got our 1.5-inch, 4-ohms, 25-watt tweeters. Now moving to the rear doors, we've got our integrated 3.5-inch, 3 ohms and 33 watt speaker. Moving to the back of the car with the sub, we've got our dual 80 watt 4 ohm driver. That's 8 inches. Again, sticking with 8 inch subs put in the Model S and the Model X. And again, mounted in front of it is our amp. Joining us today, taking a quick look and quick teardown inside the Model 3, including the audio that comes with it. Now, here at the Design Works, these are some of the products that we carry, including our Model S sub kit door speakers for the S and the X that we custom make and we also work with Rocket Fosgate so we include a lot of their products inside our kits including their subs, their fortune lamps, and their wiring kits. Now if you'd like to see any more detail of our products or anything else with the Model 3 S or the X let us know down below or if there's any product you'd like to see us produce for the Model S 3 or X let us know down below and we'll take a look. So thanks for joining us.